Hello, so welcome to part two of our little pair of videos on, on cleaning this uh, dirty old Ford Focus. Part one we did the interior, so if you haven't already uh, already seen that, go and check that out. We're sure you'll find it interesting. So today we're doing the exterior, and as you can see, this car really does look like it hasn't been cleaned for a very long time. Look at all this kind of moss and stuff that's growing in all these like crevice kind of areas. Uh, you know, anywhere like that, it, it really is dirty. It's probably dirtier than what the uh, camera shows, and uh, as you can see, the, the wheels are all uh, caked in the uh, in brake dust, etc. So, uh, hopefully, today we're going to show you some good sort of tips, techniques, tricks to getting that uh, clean and presentable looking as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Okay, so start by hosing the car down really well. Uh, if, if, um, if you've got a fitting like this on the end of your hose, uh, put it on like a fast jet. If you've got a, uh, a jet washer, you better still use that. If you've just got like a hose with nothing on the end of it at all, um, you know, just stick your finger <laughs> over the top of it or something, that will work as well. But just hose it down from the top to the bottom, like really well uh, so you want to remove all like the loose bits of uh, grit dirt anything that will come off with the hose get off with the hose and also you know you want to be so softening up all that uh, moss and stuff that we looked at earlier so good good sort of hose down is, is a place to start then once you've done that you want to get on to washing which and uh, washing there's no really secret to it bad secret to it to be honest it's just um, first of all you do want to use like a wash and wax type product uh, this one's turtle wax but it doesn't matter which one you use really as long as it's like wash and wax what you do not want to use is any kind of like um, washing up liquid you know so, so, some videos on the internet they will say to use washing up liquid uh, you don't want to do that because actually that's bad for the paintwork it really is. It, uh, takes off all the wax off the paintwork and also uh, washing up liquid contains salt so if that gets into any any kind of onto bare metal sort of surface and then the nooks and crannies of, uh, of the car it's going to basically cause and accelerate corrosion so you definitely don't want to use anything like washing up liquid you want to use like a proper wash and wax although it doesn't really matter which one it is so any kind of car, proper car shampoo is fine uh, so you want to sort of mix that up in a, in a, in a bucket but to the right proportions and for actually doing the the washing and these these micro these microfiber mitten type things uh, work very well uh, so basically what you want to wash it really well give it all that sort of uh, moss and stuff a good scrub um, um, you know in, in the combination of the uh, washing wax and the in the water and the uh, and using this and then once you've done that you want to sort of hose it all off to rinse it uh, and then uh, and then um, use one of these to take all the uh, water off and then after that you want to use like a clean uh, microfiber cloth to, to chamois it all down. So we're going to do all that and we'll come back to you and uh, carry on on the next stages. Right, so we're going to just uh, pick up back here and just talk to you a little bit about cleaning alloy wheels. Now, the thing to understand about alloy wheels is if, they, if the car has been washed regularly and the alloy wheel has been washed regularly as part of that cleaning process, uh, cleaning alloy wheels is actually easy you don't need anything uh, any special cleaner uh, you just use the same sponge and the same sort of like um, uh, car shampoo and water that you use for cleaning the rest of the car and all this dirt will, will just wipe off look you can see there like that dirt, this 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 right of the side, side of the wheel we haven't touched yet but you can see how easily that's that dirt is just wiping off and uh, and if if the car and the wheel has been washed properly and regularly that the, all the dirt on it will wipe off as easily as that you don't need anything special you don't need to do anything special but the problem happens is when the car either has not been washed regularly or the wheel has not been washed properly even if the car has been washed regularly and then what you happen is that in these sorts of areas brake dust accumulates and just bakes on from the heat of the uh, of the brake disc that transfers to the wheel and then this baked on brake dust is then really difficult to remove like you can wipe that as hard as you want you obviously get a little bit of it off, off on the surface but as you can see after you've removed a little bit it basically stops coming off uh, so that that then then you need to use more sort of specialist stuff to get that clean and um, what you can do is get this uh, sort of like so-called special kind of um, cleaner and uh, I say so-called because it's, they're actually never as good as what they make out like they are because if you read the instructions on this one 
I mean, I won't read them exactly, but it says something like spray on, leave for 15 minutes, come back, rinse off. Believe me, it's not that easy. Like in your dreams, is it that easy? So it certainly does not work as easily as what the instructions and the uh, and the label on the front would appear. But it does. These things do help in the process. And the process you generally have to use is like spray this stuff on. Uh, you know, leave it on for about the 10-15 minutes, whatever that the that it says in the instructions. But then you need to use something to agitate it with. And depending on, on how badly it's, it's, it's caked in, it can either be just the um, just the um, you know the normal sponge or whatever that you use for cleaning the rest of the car. You know you might you might find that you get away with that. But we find that often you know in the really caked in areas you can't. Uh, and in the, in the little trick that we use is to use actually a, an old um, you know washing up sponge. And where you've got like the more abrasive side just lightly agitate the dirt with that washing up sponge uh, and then you'll find that uh, it starts coming off a bit better and then maybe like spray it again leave it for you know for about five minutes come back agitate it maybe go a little bit harder rinse it off uh, come back do it again maybe go, go through it with a sponge and just sort of keep gently and repetitively repeating that process until you get it clean now you can get it clean because as, as, you, as you can see uh, you know we, we've done the left side of the wheel that looks fine but just uh, to let you know you know when it's really bad you know you can never get it perfectly clean like even on, on the left side that we've already done you can see there's like little bits that that, are, that have been left um, we could probably get those off if we went really hard at it with this but the thing is you don't really want to do that because then you can start scratching and dulling the um, the surface of the uh, the paintwork finish on the alloy wheel so it, but you know on, on most cars you know if you get it to about you know this good you know it's, it's, it's good enough so that's the way we would recommend doing the wheels okay so next step if the car needs it is to polish the bodywork uh, and uh, this is where it does pay to invest in a good quality product like we we like this auto glim stuff that we've been using for years it works well there is other good quality stuff out there as well but it does pay to sort of invest in a good quality polish the best way to apply it is you is using one of these like um, microfiber uh, microfiber applicator <laughs> applicator pad type things uh, so you just want to sort of like apply, apply it onto the bodywork using circular motion working about one foot square at a time uh, when you get to the end of the panel maybe the second panel depending on the weather conditions go back to where you started and, and, and buff it off um, the trick is to not let it dry too much if, if, if you let it dry too much it will be difficult to buff off obviously you do need to let it dry to a haze as, as it says in the instructions uh, but you don't want to let it dry off too much before you go back and, and buff it off because then it will be difficult to buff off and obviously to, to, for buffing off just use a clean a microfiber a cloth to do that um, talking about things getting too dry something that we didn't mention earlier is that when you're uh, washing the car actually a mistake that a lot of people make is that they um, they'll do it in sort of bright hot sunlight not a good idea to just wash a car in bright hot sunlight because the problem is that the uh, the water then dries too quick on the bodywork and it's difficult to chamois it dry you'll find that you'll, it'll be difficult to chamois dry without it leaving uh without the water leaving marks on the bodywork so best to either move it into somewhere where it's shaded before you wash it or uh, or if that's not possible wash it sort of like early in the morning or sort of like late in the afternoon when the uh, when, when the weather is cooler okay so next step is to treat these uh, faded plastic areas uh, there's different products you can use to do this and they all kind of work okay if you watch the interior video you saw us using that spray on stuff to do the interior plastics you can use something similar to that spray on stuff but obviously not the interior stuff you get special spray spray on stuff for the exterior plastics or uh, a product we prefer is this auto glim bumper care stuff uh, which you uh, just apply on and work into the uh, plastic with a, with a clean cloth and uh, it, it works really well and what you want to do is just go around the whole car wherever you've got faded plastic uh, just go around it with that and it, and it brings up the treatment 
Okay, so we're nearly finished now. So, so we're going to uh, dress the tires using uh, this sort of um, uh, uh, tire dressing stuff. Again, you get like different types of these. They all kind of work okay. But actually, uh, this happens to be a, the Halfords brand. The, the product we normally prefer to use, but we haven't got any at the moment, is made by Armorol and you actually sort of foams up when you spray it and you just leave it to dry and we think it actually works a bit better than this but really it doesn't matter too much which which one you use just uh, it's just a matter of uh, spraying it on like so and you can either just leave it just spray it on like that or you can uh, go around and sort of like uh, rub it in with a, uh, with a with a cloth just to kind of work it into the rubber a little bit more and uh, just one final thing, uh, don't forget the uh, the glass, uh, just sort of any decent glass cleaner will be fine, just really you know, clean, the, but give the glass a good clean inside and out, particularly uh, people often forget to do inside, so don't forget to do inside because you know that that, uh, that really helps with the uh, nice crisp clean look. And, uh, and, that, and that's about it, uh, I don't think we've forgotten everything, so uh, hopefully um, you know, we, we tried not to make this video too long and not to kind of like, you know, go on about, uh, you know, every little thing you can do. This is sort of something you can do sort of practically, reasonably quickly without using sort of like too much sort of expensive specialist, um, you know, cleaners and stuff like this. And uh, as, as you can see, I mean, we, we haven't even sort of finished detailing all the plastic or even like dressed the front tyre over there or anything yet. But uh, you can already see like how much sort of nicer and crisper and cleaner this car is looking. Uh, so anyway, hope, hope that helps. Hope you enjoyed watching that. Bye bye. Okay, just a quick note uh, um, to everyone. So earlier on when we were talking about doing the uh, the front wheel over there, well, I think I was demonstrating sort of washing the wheel with the, or clean, trying to clean the wheel with this sponge. And I think I referred to it as the sponge, the same sponge as you, as, as you use to do the rest of the car. What I meant was it's just an ordinary sponge. Um, is what I meant. It's not the sponge that we we use to do the rest of the car. You should you, you should always keep like a, a separate sponge for doing the or a separate you know um, microfiber cleaning mitt for doing the rest of the body work, and then uh, a, a separate sponge for doing things like wheels and like the very kind of underneath areas. The reason being is obviously so when when you fin finish washing this car, there's probably going to be little bits of grit and stuff from the wheels and the other underside areas on on the sponge you use for doing that kind of thing and then when you when you go and do the next car if you use the same sponge for doing the rest of the the, the bodywork you're going to start putting like little tiny scratches in the bodywork which is obviously not what you want to do so just a, a little correction there